and so we'll call the meeting to order. I never did that as chair, but I'm sitting next to her. So, yes, we are in compliance with the meeting law. And, um, Public comment during this portion of the agenda. Uh, public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. If you wish to be heard, give your name for the record, the amount of discussion, as well as the amount of time any speakers allowed may be limited. Oh, should I call roll first? Actually, I can take it down, Chair, once we're done reading the item. That'll be fine. Okay. So we have a member of the public here. Do you wish to comment now on anything on the current agenda? I do not. Thank you. Um, so we can uh, have a roll call now? Yes. Chair Parrott? <coughs> here. Vice Chair Epstein? Uh, here. Thank you. Mr. Brogan? Here. Commissioner McCoy? Present. Commissioner Smith? Excused. Commissioner Ditton? I understand is excused. Commissioner Nowak? He said he was coming, but he might be we'll see. Okay. All right. Commissioner Shevsik, I understand, is excused. Yes. Commissioner Alvarez? Here. Commissioner Schneider? Here. Commissioner, I apologize, Blut or Blut? Blut. Blut. I'm sorry. <coughs> Thank you. And Commissioner Diener? Here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, item four, for possible action to approve the final minutes <coughs> by reference to the regular meeting of November 15, 2012. So moved as twenty. Any discussion? No problems. Take a minute. All right. If everyone's okay with the uh, minutes, we will. Um, um, all in favor? Approving the minutes. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Motion here. <coughs> okay, item five. Report to possible action regarding the monthly status of our Las Vegas and a mobile web application. I think John uh, would like to send us a little update. Yes. Looks like it. Uh, happy holidays, season's greetings. <laughs> Here's our monthly update on our Las Vegas, our evolving online and real world cultural animation program. Uh, we're happy to report things are progressing nicely on the project. We, are, we have successfully renovated our new bricks and mortar space, our Las Vegas studio at Emergency Arts. And uh, there's going to be a soft, well, there was a soft launch at December's first Friday. They know about it, but <laughs> I think there'll be another soft launch. Uh, dates for the concurrent Las Vegas ex exhibition at Emergency Arts and uh, City Galleries are now scheduled. And those dates, as you see there. Um, they haven't set a time for the reception yet. Uh, but that's upcoming. Um, also on the sustainability uh, funding front, they have a very promising preliminary conversations with Nevada Arts Council Executive Susan Boscoff regarding submission of a Jack Pop Grant application in 2013 to support the political <coughs> exhibitions. They're also submitting a funding proposal to Kim Schaefer, a downtown project. Uh, they are um, also uh, going to, uh, I guess they're announcing the completion of the first 60 seconds with project. Uh, they're anticipating including it on the mobile web app within the next few days. And uh, <coughs> sent me a link, but I don't 
activate. I can activate that. That's a, there's a YouTube link that will preview the um, 60 seconds of this program. And then uh, uh, Energizer of a Project da Daily Frame continues enthusiastically. Here's a mock-up of an upcoming Daily Frame. Part of a new Life on the Radio series of images that go behind the scenes at KUMB. Cassandra was interviewed recently. Yeah. Okay. At Santa in April. <laughs> exactly. He was starting to fall. Uh, he was practicing. Uh, what else? Uh, he'll be in Las Vegas January 3rd through 5th. And to participate in First Fridays, uh, they hope that uh, the Arts Commission will come by the Art Las Vegas Studios at Emergency Arts. Uh, Ginger and John will be conducting audio and video interviews and making portraits on site, part of our continuing efforts to spread the word on Art Las Vegas. And he says he will not be staying there, but at the Four Queens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ta-da. Okay, thank you. If anybody has any questions or uh, feedback, we can relay it to John. Yeah, I want to check on the, the dates for the... I saw April to June, and you could put the dates, the dates on that slide. Oh, okay. That's all right. I can, um, that's the exhibition at Emergency Arts. At uh, City Hall. Or, oh, that's the City Hall. Emergency okay. Services Maker. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a quick comment. I'd like to see if Angelina is here next time. Mm -hmm. There's anybody who can put me on the kiosk. Do you have access to it? If there was some link. Okay. To this web on that kiosk. Good idea. I don't know if there is. It's not know. interactive, that kiosk. Somebody would have to stand there and type it in, but we could. We could have the conversation with IT. We could put a page. Yeah. Did Noelle have done sort of a slideshow show for that? Or was that mm -hmm. just for Well, we had talked about how we but I think it would be great. Because that's, because I'm not on the I don't know how that works. Yeah, it's not an interactive screen. They were they had talked about putting like that interactive screen that was in the old city hall out there, but I think this has kind of replaced that because it just got too complicated. Yeah, to see what we can do. Yeah, that would be great. That doesn't need to be a motion. Anybody else have any more uh, questions about that? All right then. We'll accept that report and move along. Report for possible action. This is item six uh, regarding the artwork received for the 360 Art Space Art Loan Program for City Hall. Well, Commissioner Grogan was one of the jurors on that. So we received what, about 38, or something about 35, 38 pieces? Yes, we looked at quite a few, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was a good uh, response for the community. Um, and there's a lot of good artwork, and hopefully uh, various heads or employees around the city hall will come and take a look at what we selected and then make selections for their office or their walls. And I thought it was, I thought it was, People, other people participating in jurors made very good selections. Mm -hmm. um, Aurora Gigue from UNLV, Barrick Museum uh, was one of the jurors, and the third was uh, the director of the Downtown Design Center, UNLV's Downtown Design Center, and his name, I'm afraid I can't recall. Can you remember his name? <laughs> I'm sorry? The director of the Downtown Design Center. Oh, Ken Center. McCowan. Ken McCowan. Yeah, there were about 35 pieces selected. Uh, we're in the process of uh, looking for good spots where they can go and also 
for uh, employees to sort of embrace them as well. Uh, so it's, it's really, we're finding a very different program than the one in East Las Vegas. I don't know if anybody knows, but we had a similar pro program called Occupied Space, where we procured a lot of artwork similarly through a loan program, uh, but it was for the hallways and really the public spaces because that's the way the center was designed. Uh, it really had these wide hallways with lots of wall space. And we basically asked artists to come down, break, drop off two pieces. Uh, we gave them small honorariums originally uh, and kept, then kept the work for two years. And it was a really nice program because there wasn't really this concern about are people going to like it? Is this going to go in the office? Is this, mm -hmm. you know, it, was, it just seemed to work really well that way. It's a little bit more finessing trying to find the right spot to go with. Because everybody's really taking a lot of ownership in the artwork in the building, which is really a great thing, but it's, it's, it's a little bit more time consuming. So we're hoping to be able to place all of these things. We don't want to just put a, you know, something there and then walk away and then we get a phone call. Well, you know, no. yeah, can you change it out for something else? So we're trying to be really sensitive to that, and, but also, you know, introduce people to some new art that kind of thing. Occasionally pieces sell out of those and then the artist will usually replace it with something similar. But, so it's nice for them to get that exposure. Right. Um, there was some conversation uh, because I put it on the agenda because I wanted to sort of see where we were at with that. Right now we're also procuring our work through cultural affairs uh, because there was such a great demand before we got this program up and running. We're also doing some curating and inviting artists because we had to fill the seventh floor. The mayor's requested a lot of art up there, um, and also just <coughs> you want to make the building lived in. Um, so, I, after having several conversations with staff people, trying to figure out what's the difference between the artwork that we've invited artists to come in, uh, artists through the juror program. This is. I was trying to make it kind of a neat and tidy program that would just be two years, but it's not really happening that way. Uh, but we're going to try to. Um, we are wondering if uh, the Arts Commission would entertain the idea of putting this program kind of under cultural affairs, like in the galleries, sort of like Celebrating Life is now. Basically, it is a pro Celebrating Life is a program of the Arts Commission but because the prizes are funded through the Arts Commission. Most of the footwork and all the logistical things are done through galleries. I mean, it's really great that City Galleries, I mean, I've got to give Jeannie a lot of credit. She's really stepped up to the plate and embraced these programs that have come in on top of what she already does. However, she's already, she's taken a lot of ownership in this 360 program. We're wondering if this program should just fall under galleries where it's an ongoing curated program Everything that has been brought in under um, uh, city staff and also the jurors should also be 360. We'll try to corral all that, expire it in, in two years, but also bring in some new things again in two years. Um, we could have like the oversight of Jerry Shevsik. I know he's very involved in galleries. He could come in and maybe make some suggestions on, on how that program's going. But I. I feel like this program needs a lot of flexibility as we sort of figure out how it works in City Hall. There so does that make any floors. sense? <laughs> yeah, because there are seven floors here, whereas there was one at East Las Vegas to fill. It's a, it's a natural fit. Do you mean to, to do the juror process every couple of years? I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking going. it would basically be um, uh, curated through city staff with the oversight of, um, say, Jerry or somebody. So this year is kind of, with the, with the jurors, it's kind of like a launch, and then from now it'll be more like a, a staff process. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but we're trying to make sense of this program. I think we need a lot of flexibility. We're going to... You know, I mean, we could just keep the artwork we juried in as 360, but the thing is, we have lots of other artwork that's 
we have contacted artists that have shown in gal in the gallery program or artists that we just know that do good work and thought it would be a good fit for City Hall. So there's a lot of invitational types of things that have been going before this program happened yeah. and it'll continue probably after. And a lot of those um, artists already sort of have a relationship with Jeannie Vulture who runs galleries and are mm -hmm. sort of coming through her too to this. So if you don't see any issue just sort of easing into maybe this other program, like you say, maybe this was kind of a launch to get things going. Because mm -hmm. uh, we've had a lot of conversations of just how to make this program fit. There is a huge demand. Uh, I don't know how far the work that we got will go. Uh, it'll certainly fill in a lot of gaps for sure. Uh, but there might be cases where we need more artwork. And we couldn't wait another maybe year to do that. So I kind of see it as, as a combination of galleries and arts commission because mm -hmm. the funding would always come from this group. The galleries wouldn't have the funding for purchase. Mm -hmm. Right. No. And and that's a good point. Any purchases that come out of this program would be through uh, arts commission. We could do it that way. Um, and the yeah. There's really no funding in this program right now. It's sort of end of fiscal year. We have extra funding. It's you know purchase some artwork, and that could that would definitely be a program of the Arts Commission. And we have done that before. With right. uh, if, for those of you who aren't familiar with Occupied Space, at the end of the year, if we have some leftover funds, mm -hmm. we'll go and and look at the artwork that's there, and and sometimes make purchases. And it's a great way to increase the city's collection. Mm -hmm. That is right now the only way to increase the collection. But I'd also like to add that even though galleries may oversee it, Arts Commission galleries work like this in Oka. So it's mm -hmm. like, you know, Lisa's always right there with Jeannie and as, as is Noel. It's, uh, it is cleaner to say it falls under the galleries because if, if it's 2D work or 3D work and it's an installation, it's really not like we're saying we're putting a piece of sculpture out on Stewart Avenue. Well, not Stuart anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's different because it's a gallery situation. But and I agree with you. It's clear to say let's have the galleries be over. But it's always going to be a combination of the two: mm -hmm. staff, I think, and arts commission and galleries. And galleries have the hardware to actually hang things and yeah. put up the the uh, pedestals and things like that. And she and she is picking the locations and mm -hmm. installing too. So. Um, Maybe I'll just update you as we kind of go into this next year. Um, I, I think when I went through the jury part of it, I think there's kind of philosophical. I wouldn't mind seeing a combination of kind of both or having the galleries certainly take a more leading role in it. I felt the art we looked at was not perhaps up to a higher quality. It was what perhaps we're still involved in. It was a cross-section of the general public of artists, which is fine and goes into buildings and that's it. But with the galleries coming in, I think you get a little more professional side to it. But I don't want to do it in such a way we negate these public artists. Um, but there was there was just somehow the feeling that some of these people pulled out art from their closets of many years ago and put them into the system. And, and we are kind of re-looking at things that they had done many years before when in fact we want to perhaps always look at something that's current. But when we say galleries, we're talking about the city galleries project, not galleries from right. the yeah. community. Yeah. The city galleries. Okay, I just want to make yeah. Yeah. sure. Because the, the way city, you described okay. it, it sounded well, like you were talking about like galleries from the city. from the gallery side than just okay. having people come okay. in the jury a lot of public. And she can say, oh, yes, we have a pedestal for this, or maybe there'll be an issue with installation. Right. But I, I get your message is to make sure we continue to reach out to the community uh, and involve involve them in this process. So well, maybe maybe still create the standards that <coughs> have to be defined current work. Then. Yeah. I think on the call it said it had to be in the last five years that they made something. If if you do, probably wouldn't be doing the call to artists again for a while. But if you did, you could specify something in the last couple of years. But do we need to? Um, have a motion for this, or I think it's, it's done. done. Yeah. I think it's we done. We just wanted to follow up on where we were at with it, and if 
So it's as we get to be an ongoing um, partnership. Yeah. yeah. As we get closer to next year's program, we can kind of revisit where we're at. So. Okay. Thank you for the report. Thank you. Uh, number seven, uh, discussion for possible action regarding the approval of the fiscal year 2013-2014 municipal art plan to be submitted in February 2013 to City Council in conjunction with the City Capital Project Plan. Here's the handout. This is something that happens every year, but sometimes in past years we didn't have any 1% funds to work with, so nothing necessarily need to be submitted. So this is good news that we have to report to City Hall. Thank you. Basically this this is an overview of all the different funds and projects that are considered capital 25 and over. So this is really basically a snapshot. Um, what we'll submit is, is a, a report on the municipal art fund uh, projects. So um, basically, I don't know if you recall back in July, we reviewed all those three different handouts. We had the city hall fund, uh, city hall plan, the municipal art plan, and then the annual projects plan. So not included are sort of our smaller projects, mostly in the general fund. So. Anyone have any questions or discussion? Um, the artwork for City Hall for Zach and Sean is but is, is, that, is that the final payment to be made to them? Uh, yes. Okay. So that's the total? Yes. That was their contract amount. Lisa, does this also include um, the, uh, this piece right here by uh, Jesse? No, that's in the general fund. And any, I'm, I'm really looking at capital, which is 25000 and over. Oh, so, so Justice doesn't come under this first street, street statement? I put, it, under there? I put it under here as all the different projects that are happening. Yeah. Um, so it, it kind of, a, as a lump sum, right. I was looking at the first street art trail. So this is what you pass along to City Hall staff, or I mean City Council, Lisa, um, just, just the capital. Just, just the capital. Oh, the top page, it's the front page, okay. All right. Or we, we, we need a motion, I think, to approve this to be submitted then? Yes. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No further discussion? Okay. Any opposed? All right. Motion carries. Number eight. Uh, we had an abeyance item from a month ago. Discussion for possible action regarding juror selection for upcoming arts commission programs to place artwork in City Hall. This is the, for the purchase of photographic art. Um, it's sort of an offshoot. Or separate from the 350 art space. Yeah, so it's, it's a. I see this as definitely an arts commission program. Jurors will come in, purchase the work. It's kind of a one-time thing. People will not be submitting the <laughs> work. There'll be a deadline and a purchase. Oh, it's, uh, it's number eight. They were talking about the. Nothing to do with the. 360. Different committee. No, it has nothing to do with that. However, this is part of that fund. Oh, it's going to be 
is part of the City Hall Art Plan, it's part of that funding, to do photography for an exhibit, photographic exhibit in City Hall. Well, it would be, it could be purchased from there, yes. I don't know. We talked about it last week. In July. In July. Yeah, and I can resend you that plan. Yeah, we did an annual plan with the artwork in the City Hall based on the allocation of the city and the funds that were left over. It was part of that. Yeah, so I guess. So uh, are we voting today on uh, juror selection? I think that's why it was. I, yeah. I don't know if we have to vote because you really have to ask the juror to yeah. see if they were, they want to be a juror. Be a, so I'll throw a few names. Right. <laughs> so why don't we? If, if you guys have any ideas on jurors, I, I'd like to invite uh, Jerry Chef, Commissioner Jerry Shefsick to be involved. And uh, Nancy, I don't know if you want anybody from City Hall to be involved, but we'll. Uh, but in, if anybody has any su suggestions for jurors, oh, uh, for jurors. yeah, I think just be awesome. yeah, and then, and then maybe somebody from the commission also. Yeah. Jerry Shepsick. Mm -hmm. Jerry is. Okay, I was thinking we also have a new member who's. Yes, who works in photographic archives. <laughs> 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 you another thing on your plate. <laughs> um, but yeah, if we have more than one um, commissioner, that might. Um, I Making think that's an issue. It's not an issue for juror. <laughs> City attorney, can we have two arts committee. commissioners yeah. on a jury? I think you probably. They, they, they have. They'll. No, yeah. I don't think it's a problem. Okay. okay. So we want Brian. Um, I was wondering if, um, since Checo Salgado's here all the time, photographing the city's collection, if he you know, might be, be submitting. So. Oh, okay. That's that's an issue that some of the photographers or yeah. or people working uh, with photography that I can think of may want to submit actually rather than be a juror. Um, What's the timing on this one? Next next year. Before the that's in two weeks. <laughs> 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 next week. <laughs> How many jurors would you like? <laughs> I think that three is good. Three. three is sort of a max. So, okay. So Great. we can request so we have four commissioners and one somebody who is involved. And I'd like, I would like Jeannie to sit on these juries in City Hall just to advise. Uh, I think she's really helpful, just logistics. So. On, a, on a technical point to the attorney, if the world ends tonight, do we have to post further schedules? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is there a time? Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, is it? Tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we have a posting problem for our next meeting. Uh, yeah. the night. We're really got it. Actually, we're already started. Oh, it started? Sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Sure. I didn't put much in the meter yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> but they left out leap years and leap days, so I think it was probably oh, more my yeah. value here. Just true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, Do we need an action? We're okay. Um, On eight? Well, we didn't have an abeyance because I think we thought we needed an action. I think you have to appoint the jury. I was going to say, if I may, if you're not sure on who the jury is going to be at this time, they can move in a motion to obey the item. We did on that. Um, yeah. We can, you can obey it. But I um, got again. You can do we need to vote again? Do, but do we need to vote on the jurors? I mean, can't we just select we need them? To vote on they jurors. accept. We can um, vote I, I, that, that I think that's, you know, we have a certain number that you'll request. I can report it at the next meeting. Yes. Yeah. Who got a newspaper? Can they just report it? Can they get more mileage out of it? Who's going to determine who's going to be? Are you going to contact Yeah, them? staff. Okay. We've got two known and one unknown. The, the, the commission, okay. Can we make a motion to two yeah. arts commission staff and one somebody to commission city hall. Okay. 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 We need a motion. Would you like to make that motion? Uh, yes, I would like to make the motion to direct the staff to select the jurors for the photography in 2013. Two, which will come from the commission, and then one or two from a pool that staff and the chairman 
of the commission will agree to. So for from city hall. From somebody from Great. city hall. From city hall. Well, we have to find out who's available. <coughs> well, that's Sam giving the staff and okay. the chair the right to determine those. And then Jerry and Brian were identified as the commissioners. Well, two commissioners. Okay. So I haven't heard Brian agree. And then Jeannie is advisory. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was my motion. For the record. Don't ask me. <laughs> no, and we don't need a second. So. Uh, if everyone's ready to vote, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, we're good to go then, and the motion carries. Uh, item 9, discussion for possible action regarding March 1st, 2013, First Friday Lucky Lady Lucy event. And this, um, we, uh, we partnered on a Lucky Lady Lucy a couple of years ago. Um, it was last year. It was last year. Yes, but the one that they burned at first Friday last March. I'm not sure that's the same one that we sponsored the building of that they built on Boulder Plaza for well, in this over the summer. They, I'm not positive built, about that. They built two. They, they had made two. They built two. The one they brought to Burning Man, was it the one they made on uh, Boulder did, Plaza that they burned here in March? Which one did we fund? I think we funded the project as an overall mm. scope. But with the uh, caveat that they had an event here in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Which this is suggesting. And then this would be, uh, yes, mm -hmm. for one that they would actually, they're, now that they're, I think they've worked out a schedule, they'd like to do it again, and they were looking to see if we would want it to support the structure, the and this is sort of the second annual burn from the one that First Friday did last March. I think it's a good opportunity to partner with First Friday. Let's see. Let's see. And I have to know that, is it called the Lucky? I thought it was not Lucky Day to see it yet. They had called it Flames of Change. But so it could have a different title. It could. They, this is just a working title. Um, I did bring that up, that they did had sort of retitled it. Yeah. So they're asking for $1,500? It's just a suggestion. We have about 5000 left in our uh, uncommitted funds. I'd like to make a motion that if we have the funds available still when this comes up, that we commit $1,500 to it. I think it's how much? $1,500. I mean, it's a, that's a drop in the bucket to what they spend on this. It's really just a like token partnership. Yes. I'd like to discuss that, that motion. I'll second the motion, but I'd like to discuss it. Um, certainly this is called disposable art. Um, mm -hmm. But what I think we should do is, in the process of art, of course I think of Christos, is I would like to amend it for another $200 for a photographer to document this mm -hmm. so that that can be in fact art of that, not just create some burn up and not have a record of the art. I think they do a really good job of documenting it. Yeah, they do. They film it, actually. I say we, it, it's included in that 1500 that they're required to document it and provide documentation to us. Um, and I think if, if um, John Lynette and Ginger run in our Las Vegas yeah. can be, you know, can know about it, um, they will get, get it up on our app as well. Then maybe I amend the motion to say, Fifteen hundred dollars, but we get agreement from them that we are given photographic documentation. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Um, I saw on um, it was either a letter or their website. They do have a very long list of needs and of the cost. As you said, yeah. a lot more than fifteen hundred dollars. And I, I think they're going to bring in an educational component, a lecturer, or someone that's involved in all the logistics of these kinds of events in Burning Man. Fire safety. And uh, some performance yes. are very much involved. Yeah. Okay. So these plan for the city starting project. Yeah, that's true. Very that was a big discussion. <laughs> you knew I would. <laughs> all right. Did we vote? <laughs> Ready to have a vote? Yes. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? All right, motion carries.
Item 10, discussion for possible action regarding funding for an additional Mayor's Urban Design Award. Um, there was, a, if I understand correctly, a tie in one of the categories. So, so there would be five instead of usually we have, we um, um, pay for a, a glass artist to make four. It's the actual award that they hand them. She generously agreed to, to do another one for basically half price. So. Uh, for half price. Yeah, two hundred and fifty dollars. Because they're she gets two thousand to do the forward. And actually mm -hmm. they're gonna be quite substantial this year. Last year they were kind of elongated. This year you're actually gonna be able to stand it on a shelf. We kind of redesigned it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So and this is the second year, this is um classic art. What is it called? Yes, Leslie, Leslie Rankin. Rankin. Leslie Rankin, yes. Um, we had uh, commissioned um, C Glass for a few years and we thought we'd give them a break. <laughs> so moved. Any other questions? Okay, all in favor? Aye. And I, I believe the state of the city is on the 10th? Oh, January. January 10th. So it's, yes. that's and, uh, coming up. We may have received invitations and I think there's an RSVP coming up fast. Yes. <laughs> Moving on, item 11, report for possible action regarding the end of fiscal year recognition of artists and project partners who contributed to the advancement of the state public art program. Um, this sort of stems from a conversation I had with Lisa Sinanis um, about just recognizing some of the um, other departments or outside entities that we work with that have, have contributed a lot toward our projects. And, um, uh, in the past, for example, public works. Who's been, mm -hmm. yeah, public works has been integral in a lot of projects and um, theming solutions on the private sector side. Sometimes I don't think we've done anything with them in a couple of years, but as examples. And so um, uh, that would be around about the May meeting, I think. Just this being more invite representatives. Um, um, I we. Uh, not a physical award. I was thinking um, possibly we can request a, a letter or a proclamation or something from the mayor, or 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 we can just invite them to the meeting and we can create we could create our own. Mm. I, I like creating them. It gives the commission more strength. Like a a plaque or a certificate, yeah. a frame yeah. certificate. That's that's a good idea. Um, so then, um, uh, Lisa, would you like to come back? Can that come out of your basic office expenses funds or for the yeah. Arts Commission? Or yeah. if you need to come back for a yeah. for that? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, who would, would the staff come up with recommendations? The commission members, staff come up with suggestions and then submit it. Yeah, why don't, who gets the yeah. yeah. Why don't we if you want to email it, I'll put it on the agenda for discussion. I'll put together a sheet and we can suggested suggested names. Like at the it's April right. meeting. Yeah, because the staff, you guys know. Yeah. 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 we can put in some suggestions. And a lot of them work really hard with us on this project. That's so great. I would suggest suggest that something you know, come to a meeting because if there's mm -hmm. out there meeting out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just Get the certificate, and you know maybe we let um, David Brooklyn's office know so that they can put in the same answers in this letter. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. But outside people, I think it seems just might love to come. I don't know. Yeah. We can give them the option. Yeah. And Take a photograph with the chairman. And the <laughs> nice idea. Uh, By the way, I have Noel put together a holiday card. So she's sending that out on behalf of the Arts Commission with our lovely paintbrush gateway. Oh, so. it, with the lights it on. Did it come already? Yeah, it did. Yeah. She's got it. 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 Well, the paintbrush was green mm -hmm. and the light on top. It's just yeah. like happy holiday. Anyways. Okay, so um uh, Okay, so that's eleven. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, do we need a motion a motion to 
or shall we wait until we have some suggestions in the motion? Okay. Discussion. Mm -hmm. Discussion. Mm -hmm. And we're almost done. Number 12, discussion for possible action regarding a public art project for the historic Westside School Rehabilitation Project. This is sort of a new thing that's, that's um, come on the radar. Yes. <laughs> uh, I sit on a <coughs> uh, working group uh, with the city that uh, we've, we've been talking about. The, um, West, the West Side is going through a rehabilitation project. That, that includes the KCEP radio station. Is it still in the school? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the structure next to it, which was an addition, an annex. There's also the variety daycare behind it, which is not part of this project because it's not funded yet. Uh, but they're looking at actually the whole site and even some properties nearby, how to develop this. And, and basically, um, KME was selected. They're, they put together uh, a design. Uh, and uh, one, of, one part of that design is a fence that goes all the way around the property. Mm -hmm. And uh, just sitting in on these meetings, I thought, wow, wouldn't that be a neat idea to, to take some of that, maybe some of that funding from that project, maybe if we could match some of that, uh, just to do the, the gates. Because you want to make the gates kind of welcoming, and it would be a great sort of um, uh, canvas for public art projects. So, so I, I go into these meetings. I just try to fill fill it out, see if there's uh, interest in doing that. I do have to find out if it's absolutely okay to do it. Um, it is a modern fence, so I I don't think there's going to be an issue. It's not like it's we're going to be doing it on the building, so I don't think it's a historic preservation issue. So the, some things I still need to work out on it just to make absolutely sure. And then I also would need to get maybe some bids on what it would cost to construct these gates if we would do, because there's like five gates. There's one that's like a big rolling gate that opens to the parking lot. There's a, you know, I don't know if you know about our tile mural that's there. Years ago we did a tile mural. Five tile murals where the windows were blocked in and the doorways blocked in. They're opening all that up, by the way, and they're going to try to relocate these tile murals. So in the front, on uh, in that archway on Washington, they will open that up as well. They it's just sort of near the the um, Doolittle <coughs> Center and West Las Vegas Library. And that no, this I'm is imagining it. It's, it's really by D Street. Oh, there's fifteen yeah, and it's right ninety-five. Oh, right they come together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I put it on the agenda for discussion to see if, if you would support moving forward. I certainly have to come back with some hard numbers. Um, I'm looking at the municipal art fund. I I put forty thousand, but I wouldn't want to use all of that. But uh, that's how much is available to us at this point, I believe. Um, so that's why it's on the agenda. And I uh, wanted to bring you in on that. So they haven't designed what those. It hasn't been. It's still in the really development stage. I haven't gotten absolute. But if I could say the Arts Commission supports this project, we'd like to put this much towards it. So now I can kind of build a budget, see how much I can get from Public Works. Uh, I think it's just that we don't know about the 40,000. We don't. There is some public art planning in the Right. And that may involve a lot allocating some of the remaining money in the municipal arts fund for bringing some of the help with the public art planning. But if we can partner with them and they're willing to use funds out of their project dollars, um, maybe do so. At this point, we're just specifying the max that we would allow for planning or budgeting towards, or. Pro well, I was going to say this is this is the amount of unallocated funds. We're, like Nancy said, we probably need to use part of that for planning mm -hmm. and for public art, plan for public art planning. So, say if um, <laughs> maybe twenty five thousand could be put towards this project, and and because basically I'd have to talk to um, there's the West Side School Alumni Association. I have a friend of Williams had set up. I'd really like to talk to her and bring in. Courtney and various stakeholders to really, you know, see if this is something they want to move forward with. 
if so, we we need to gel the funding uh, and then go through a call to artists, that kind of thing. It, because I think the school will be built, uh, I don't want to say 2014. They will rehab it by then. Refresh my memory. Is it, is it as old as Las Vegas High School or is it older? I think it is the oldest yeah. school. Case this KCP building. For sure. So they're still looking at all these different things, how it's going to be run, who's and, and some more background too. He's been working on Richard Hayford for quite a few years on the whole campus and the whole area. And he really has been involved in the Centennial Commission has bond some money to help give them uh, money to move it forward, start preservation is very much involved in so, you know, right now they have an architect hired that's kind of designed it, and they're looking at uses. Nikki mm -hmm. Richardson, who used to sit on the Arts Commission, involved with it. Um, Council Navarro is championing it, and it really is a wonderful project for that neighborhood. But there have been no real hardcore decisions as to programming yet. So I think well, this is saying, correct me if I'm wrong, is that when we sit in these meetings, it would be so great to throw our hat in the ring for mm -hmm. some public mm -hmm. art component. Mm -hmm. yes. It's kind of a presence there because we think it needs it. <coughs> and so maybe you're just asking for support for something that would probably not exceed that dollar amount. But mm -hmm. if the opportunity comes back, that you would bring back yes, here. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Do, would you think we would qualify for centennial funds for this project too? Just this little portion, the art part? I don't know how that bond yeah. money works. Okay. That would be a question for Scott and Councilman Barlow. Or what if we suggested maybe twenty or twenty-five thousand allocated with another five thousand contingency when that might be needed yeah. down the line? And as far as the match, it's that's yeah. the way to because the, the project's gonna be millions and millions of exactly, dollars. Right. So obviously we could say there's there's your match. I mean we could pull a match from any number of places. It's mm -hmm. a great idea. I mean where we really need to cover is uh, artists proposal fees and then we go into design fees. So that's where we need to really contribute. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're just gonna buy gates. Right. We have these additional costs. It is good to get in this early. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nice to have a presence in a project like this. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's such a worthy project. It's such a great project. Mm -hmm. And we have these opportunities, and we're always kind of promoting the fact that we never hear about it until it's too late. And we're always like trying to catch up. But now, mm -hmm. we've been at the table for several years, mm -hmm. and Lisa, her credit, has been knocking on that door and trying. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been having many issues with things around there. And it seems like your architects have already done it. But this time, we have a chance. The train's not left the station. <laughs> right. You know, one of our very first infrastructure projects was the sign, the old West Side School sign right. that we put on Owens. And we were so excited <laughs> because we were actually involved in a <laughs> But it was very small, but I think we've done a lot in West, West Las Vegas. A lot of work with that neighborhood mm -hmm. and all those neighborhood committees for years. And he's done a really excellent job there. So, I, you know, it's just a continuation of the history of the arts commission that's had there. So, well, also, I'll entertain a motion to give Miss Bananas more work. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're looking at 20 to 25 if I can have a, a, some talking points. A motion points. from the commission indicating the support to go forward towards making this funding in time with an art project. Or the West Side. Would you like to give a Dell figure this time or not yet? I think I don't think it's I necessary. Think I think it's just the opportunity to partner in that project mm -hmm. um, is important. We'll bring it back. We'll sure. bring it back for sure. Okay. All in favor of supporting this project? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Motion carries. And. Now we have citizens' participation, public comment, and enforcement of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the commission. Um, no subject will be acted upon by the commission unless that subject is on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, give your name to the record, the amount of discussion on any single subject, as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. It's your chance, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Not everybody knows you. Just a Actually, I should have done that at the beginning. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I'm Mark Abelman. I am um, the new role that I'm filling is the president of the 18 Arts District. So I really want to come and you know see what's going on here and take more of an actual role. So hello there. Hi. 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 Mark and his wife Jill on the inside style near Charleston and Maine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. That's right at the next. I think we could have, we have some refreshments uh, this month. <laughs> thank, and thank you to Maura. She worked very hard getting all this stuff up here. Thank you, Maura. I did bring up Jesse Smuggle, this part of the oh, staff right. report, yeah. not on the agenda for discussion, but I did bring it if anybody wants to take a look at it. It was requested that he provide a maquette. What is he for the project? The height is going to be about eight feet high. To the top of the year? Yes, to the top of the year. Yes. Uh, he's leaning towards a calico. Yeah, with different black, orange, white kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, he he gave us two options, like a furry side, <laughs> not furry side. It's so Jesse for for him to do that for us. Um, he was he didn't want to make it super realistic. He said he was looking more at anime, as far as sort of this fur. Type. So he's, he's really leaning towards this side rather than this side. We think it looks more like a space and one of those sort of cat. Yeah, cat. Yeah. So this is the furry side. Um, this is a kind of a hard play, but I don't know if you can do it. So he's welcome to handle it. But he's, he wants to put it in kind of this smooth base. And this is his homage to um, Egyptian obelisks. And they were all supporters sort of write it into place using this kind of engineering. Uh, if anybody watches the History Channel. Yeah. Right. And also the Easter Island, they said they walked them across the island using this kind of thing. So it's kind of interesting the thought that goes, because it is the simple sort of cat, but not really. There's, there's depth and interesting. And there's a, you know, there's a lot of history and and uh, thought behind how people feel about cats and how cats have been symbolized in art and uh, historic. Or, or this is going on the corner of uh, First and uh, Coolidge. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go on the north and west corner. Actually, the south side. Who's naming it? Her. Her. He named the uh, so Gnome's Project. I think that, and I talked to him, we're, we're really thinking about constructing it over the next fiscal year uh, and then uh, following the next fiscal year after that because some of that money will come from public works fund. So we'll spend the general fund before June 30th. Because there'll be construction all along that street, not necessarily where this is going, but I felt like I didn't really want to put it out until First Street was completed. And we both kind of agreed on that. So it'll, it'll be about a, a year, nine months. <laughs> and if we can go ahead, then we might want to adjourn the meeting before if we get more discussion about yeah. that particular yeah. artwork, if you don't mind. Yeah, not a problem. I was scheduled here if anyone's interested in various cultural meetings, calendars that I got at the Southern Nevada Arts Consortium. Um, and uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So, Jeannie's having an open.